Hi, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to Ostomy Life. Um, this is my YouTube channel and I came here to help others get used to having an ostomy. I've had mine a year and a half and it's doing really well and I'm really happy with it. Um, today I want to talk about the brands I use and my routine that I use every single week and I get at least five days, sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, so I use the um, Colaplast <clears throat> Sensory Mio. So this is the box. My um, supplier is Byram and it's a one piece. It's the opaque type. Um, it's very light convex um, ostomy pouch. So it is opaque so you can't see anything. I like that. I don't like the clear. I've had the clear ones before. I don't like it. Um, here is the other side. So when you first get your stoma, um, it will change in size. It will get smaller. So this is a great guide. Um, it starts off small, but um, it's a great guide and you can cut out the, the size of your stoma. It comes with um, a measuring paper that you just lay right on your stoma and you can see the, the size and then you just cut it based on your size. So then before I put my bag on, I always make sure I close it. Some people were talking on the uh, ladies um, ileostomy Facebook page the other day about this in particular and why it has this double uh, Velcro here, but um, it's to fold back for emptying to easy, empty easier so it holds the flap down. Um, I like it. Um, so before I put my bag on, I make sure I closed my bag so um, nothing, you know, I don't forget, comes out. It's really easy to fold and then you just fold it in. There's another little Velcro piece in there and you just fold it right in. It's really, really easy. So um, basically my routine <clears throat> is this. Um, I take the bag off with um, an adhesive remover and this is a big one that is made by Colaplast. Um, sometimes they send you different brands and there's little smaller, but this one is a really good size. Um, so that I use that to take my bag off and then I wipe it all around to make sure all the glue is off. Um, then the next thing I use are um, like Cottonelle flushable wipes or any kind of flushable brand um, that you get um, from the store. And I wipe around the stoma and make sure my skin, you know, make sure everything comes off of my skin and make sure it's nice and clean. Then I use a paper towel to dry it. So I make sure everything is nice and dry. And I just touch around the skin just to make sure that everything is good and, you know, every step of the way. I'm just checking every, you know, side of my skin. Um, so then the next thing I do, um, I use the calamine lotion and I just drop like th three drops on my skin and um, I move it around my skin uh, with my fingers it will get a little funky on your fingers but I just if this is my stoma I just move it around um, until it's all over and then I usually take my bag <laughs> as a waving device and I make sure I wave it dry it helps um, to have either a fan or you know some sort of fan so to help you move it along fast because your stoma sometimes is uh, finicky and doesn't want to um, behave so um, there's lots of words I could use but it starts emptying sometimes while you don't have a bag on so you want to move as quickly as possible um, like I said I do mine in the morning um, either after a shower I change my bag in the morning and that's when usually it's the most quiet. I've had t um, eight hours of sleep. Um, and, you know, depending on, you know, how long after you wake up, after you, if you shower or not, um, you do it. So once that's dry, um, I take this powder, which is also made by Colaplast. Um, I put like a little edge. It's called crusting, I believe, a little edge around the stoma. And then I wipe uh, the powder around and then I get rid of any excess so it's nice and dry. Then my next step is uh, the Cavalon, Cavalon uh, Sting Barrier Film. It's uh, to help like an adhesive. Some people use a spray. I like to use this wipe. Um, it is really good, works for me perfectly. So then my next step 
um, I take this uh, Brava Barrier Ring and I put it over my stoma. Um, this one fits my stoma perfectly. I don't need to cut it or mold it. Some people do shape or mold theirs. Um, I like this particular one because it fits mine perfectly and you can request that on the phone when you're ordering your supplies. So then the next step would be um, the bag. <clears throat> so I put the bag right on top of the ring and I hold it there with my entire hand and I give it a good five minutes. You wanna make sure you're not in a rush because sometimes if you're in a rush, if I'm in a rush, the bag doesn't stick properly. So you wanna hold it there for as long as possible just to get a good mold and um, to make sure it's dry. And then the next thing I do, I um, go back and I get another one of these sting barriers and I wipe it around the skin, uh, around the bag, around the outside of the bag. I wipe it around the bag, um, the skin around it, because then I apply just a little extra barrier. Um, these right here, they're, um, they're called elastic barrier strips. They're also by Coloplast. Um, and I do this just for extra protection. So um, it goes around the sides, however you want to do it. Um, now this particular model has the belt loops here. These um, are for the belt. If you don't feel comfortable, um, just the bag on its own, you can apply a belt to it and it has both sides and it goes around your waist and it holds the bag a little tighter. I did this for the first year. I used the belt for the first year and now I've gotten accustomed to not wearing the belt and I just feel a lot better about it. Um, you can attach the belt if you're in a rush and you want it to um, give it that extra pull that you need. Um, but again, you wanna hold those elastic barriers down with your hand and just give it a, like a little warm up to make sure it holds. Um, I also use um, this after um, I empty my bag. It's a liquid uh, lubricating deodorant. It's liquid. Um, you just pour it in your bag. Um, I keep the cap off so I don't have to like futz too much. That's a key um, for everything. When you're changing your bag, you want to make sure you have all your supplies there next to you, um, like your garbage bag paper towels, everything that you need, you wanna have handy. And when I'm going to the bathroom, before I open my bag, I pull off the toilet paper and I lay uh, double-sided toilet paper on my lap. So when I empty, I have it right there to grab it. So the best thing you can do for yourself and um, to help yourself is just to be prepared for everything and anything. And um, just remember that you know, we don't, we would never choose this life, but we have to love our stoma because if we don't love it, it won't love us back. And I know so many people have issues and I know it sounds so easy for me to say that, but it's really gotten, I mean, it, it didn't just happen overnight, but I've learned to love my stoma and it has loved me back and it doesn't give me any problems. I try not to focus on it too much. So anyway, again, I wanna keep these videos short, but that is my routine and the products that I use and I like, um, but everybody has a different idea of what they like and your stoma nurse should help you with that. But again, I'm Tiffany, that's what I like to use and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.